Hi friends, welcome to Tech Trends. In this video, we can see how to control DC water pump from mobile. Let's watch the video. The components required for this experiment are Node MC board DC water pump Relay 9V battery Connecting cable Connecting wires And a tube to connect with the pump First we can connect the 9V battery to the breadboard So this is the positive pin And this black is the negative pin So connect in two points in the breadboard now connect the relay module with the breadboard. So the relay has three pins, signal, positive and the negative. Connect the positive with the positive wire which we connected from the battery and the negative with the negative wire from the battery. And the signal pin connect with pin number D4 in the node MCU board. First I am connecting the negative with the negative in the breadboard. Next connect the positive with the positive wire from the battery in the breadboard. Now connect the signal pin with the pin number D4 in the node MC board. So this is pin number D4. You can use any pin but you need to change the blink app based on the pin which you selected. Now we have two more connections from the node MC board. Connect the V in pin from the node MC board to the positive and ground to the negative pin from the battery in the breadboard. Now we connected the relay and node MCU and the 9 volt battery in the breadboard. So for time being I am removing this uh, negative wire. So let's uh, connect this one once we complete the connection with the pump. Now we need to connect the pump with the relay. So this is the DC water pump. So this pump has two pins positive and the negative. The red wire is positive and the black wire is negative. Okay, connect the negative wire from the battery with the negative wire from the pump and connect the positive wire from the pump with the first pin in the relay and connect the positive wire from the pump with the second pin in the relay Now we can connect the wire which we removed from the battery in the breadboard. Once we completed the circuit connection, dip this pump in the water. And after upload the code, we can check the output. The Blink app from the Play Store. Open the Blink app and click on new project. Here enter the project name. and select the device. Here the device which we are using is ESP8266. Then click on the create button and it will send an authentication code to the registered email address. Click OK. Now click the plus button from the menu and select button. Click on the button and select the pin as digital GP2 and click OK. And select the button mode to switch. Go back and click on the play button. Now connect the node MC board with the laptop and upload the program. Before upload the program, we need to enter the authentication code which you got from the Blink app to the registered email address here. Then enter the Wi-Fi username and Wi-Fi password here. Then select the board from Tools and select the port. And now click on the button. Click on the right arrow and upload the program. Now the program is uploaded successfully to the board and we can check the output now. If we press the button from the mobile, 
the pump will turn on and the water will start flowing. If we press the button again, the pump will turn off and the water flow will stop. Please like this video and subscribe to Tecton's channel. If you have any clarification, please post in the comments. Thank you.